just now and it happened quick they basically just came down and yeah you know, it's probably bear let's go look let's go look So as we approached, I have a GoPro on sever and I'm using my app and the phone as a remote control. As I approach and close enough for Bluetooth to pick up the bear, I was able to turn on the camera. Oh, he's coming down again. Anyways, the bear, I got too close and the bear didn't feel comfortable and he came out. They ran what? 50 yards, 50 yards and they treat again, but I see him, he's, well, fine. Well, he'll come out and they'll treat him again. There you are. Hey, bear. No, don't, ah, stop. Jeez. Oh, just climbed again. So every time he jumps out like that, when they engage, he is less and less inclined to jump out because his rear end is turning purple right now. So, in theory, right now, when, when we come up, he should stay put. He's sitting pretty good out there. Yeah. Well, let's, let's test my theory. Hi, bear. That's Bucha, and that's Sever with a go GoPro. Oh, hey. Man, come look at that bear. Did you kid cut yourself? That's nice, it? Well, I think it's a, my guess is it's a female. Please stop, stop, stop. Listen, stop. Get up! Get back up there! Ah, he's pooping on me! Stop! Listen, stop! That's not nice! Stop! Get! Get! Ah, stop pooping at me! Get up! Get up! Yeah, you tell him. 
Why am I, why am I doing your job? All right, so he jumped out and treat again. We're gonna grab the dog and just get out of here. Look, <laughs> he's mad. Dude, it's a chase only season. Do you understand what I'm saying? Chase only. Come on. Come on, Bucha. Let's go. See ya. Meanie. Am I in the... Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to address something here. I get a lot of negative... Not a lot, but some negative... Not negative. Okay. I get some comments from people from Houndsman saying that that I shouldn't be... We shouldn't be shooting bears out of a tree with the dogs under that tree. I should Instead, I should come to a tree, get my dogs, and pull them away and tie them off, which is what houndsmen do, and that's fine. With these dogs, it's different. Here's, I'm gonna try to keep it quick, short. Um, hold on. I use two dogs. They tree a bear, the bear climbs up, the chase was 200 yards. The bear is not tired. The bear is sitting up in the tree. We come up. People. Bears are, are afraid of people. They try to jump out. If we get too close, they might bail. Every time they jump out, there's a chance that my dogs can get hurt. Instead then, what I do, and I've been doing it for four years with no problems whatsoever. As soon, instead of that, I come up to a tree, I come up to a bear, I look at it from a distance, I determine whether we're going to take it or not, and if we determine to take that bear, we take a shot from a distance, instead of spooking that bear and, and letting him jump out and possibly hurt my dogs. What happened just now, we're not in the hunt and kill season, it's chase season, we had, how many times did he jump out? Four? Four times. Yeah. Probably. One time we, we got a hold of Sever. And I was messing with the cameras, ho hoping to set up where, you know, set up the cameras to where the bear comes out and runs past it. So Sever was on the lead and Butcher was under the tree waiting for me to put her on the lead. Well, while I was messing with my camera, a bear decided to come out. And the bear came out and it actually bit her somewhere. I can see a bite mark right there. Now, again, here's my logic behind this. What I'm trying to say is, Every time a bear comes out, now, every time I approach the tree, there's a chance that the bear is going to come out. Every time a bear comes out, I don't care if it's wounded or fully alive, doesn't matter. Every time a bear comes out, there's a chance that the dogs can get hurt. Now, why wouldn't I take a shot from a distance and let the bear come out only once and then expire? Instead of trying to grab my dogs and in doing so, I would be pushing that bear three, four times until the bear has been bitten, engaged by the dogs enough to where he stays treed finally. So again, I'm going to repeat myself. This is why I do it. This is why we, I don't tie the dogs back because there's a high chance, high risk of bear jumping out. And there's a risk of bear, the bear when it jumps out, hurting the dogs. So instead of letting the bear f jump out four times, we do it once and the bear either falls out dead or expires shortly after. That's why I don't tie the dogs back when we shoot the bear.